We call this segment Capital Spotlight. We're coming to you today from the third floor of the Rhode Island State House. My name is Dave Barber, and Capital TV likes to invite members of the General Assembly in before session. In fact, you may hear the bell ringing. It's getting ready to start and uh, talk to them about some of the things they've been working on. Joining me right now is a freshman member of the Rhode Island House. It gives me a great deal of pleasure to welcome the Honorable State Representative Ken Marshall. Representative, it's good to see you and congratulations. Same to you, Happy New Year, thank you. Well, it's great to have you here and one of the things that we like to do, especially at the beginning of session, is introduce some of the new members to our audience. Give us a little background information about you, your family, and the line of work you're in. Uh, my name is Kenneth Marshall, as you stated. I'm from Bristol, Rhode Island. I represent Bristol and Warren with District 68. Married with four children. Bryant College grad. Loud and proud Rhode Islander, a lifelong resident. And uh, I've been past chairman of the town of Bristol for the past six years and a councilman for the last 10. And I'm also a uh, small business general manager for the last 26 years. Well, I would think that both of those um, situations would help you in this building your work in local government, knowing some of the challenges that municipalities are facing, uh, that obviously is going to be something uh, that is very important. And furthermore, the entrepreneurialship of understanding, creating jobs, and bringing jobs to uh, the ocean state. Uh, that's absolutely right. That's uh, one of the main reasons why I chose to run for state rep, uh, having the municipal experience and having the success that we've had locally in the East Bay and Bristol area. Uh, certainly wanted to bring some of that experience along with the small business experience like you stated, keeping people employed, knowing the challenges that small businesses face. Hopefully that experience comes up here and helps the leadership uh, be more successful than they already have. Well, you have a lot of political experience. You've, you've been around this building before and you've worked with politicians. Uh, so you have maybe a, a better grasp of it than many new uh, freshman uh, uh, type leaders. But what has the first couple of weeks been like for you? Has it been kind of what you expected? Uh, the first couple of weeks have been uh, interesting uh, uh, per se, just the uh, fact of trying to learn around the state house and poke my head in doors and find out where people are. And it's gonna take me a little while to navigate the, the state house, but uh, hopefully in a short period of time, I'll be able to do some well, 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 let's talk about navigating some issues. In 2013, do you have some pet projects? Do you have some key issues that you hope to work on as the uh, session moves forward? Uh, well, it, it sounds encouraging to hear that uh, Governor Chafee, along with Speaker Fox, as well as Senator Teresa Piva Weed, are already moving in that direction. Uh, that was one of my main goals and initiatives, is to uh, pull together a, a grand plan, if you will, on the economy for the state of Rhode Island to make us even stronger moving forward. Well, that's interesting too, because uh, this Thursday there's gonna be a, a summit of sorts at uh, Rhode Island College. And uh, again, a lot of people sharing ideas, exchanging ideas and points of view. And again, to uh, move the needle and get uh, Rhode Island's uh, unemployment numbers smaller uh, would certainly solve a lot of our problems. You can't say it better than that. That's exactly right, uh, one step at a time. There's a lot of steps in a series of many to get to where we need to be, but uh, Rhode Island is one of the founding fathers of the country, and I have uh, complete faith and hope that the state will pull through. Well, listen, uh, you and your colleagues in the House, as well as the Senate, have your work cut out for you, but I know that you're up for the challenge. I wish you the very best in uh, session year 2013. Thank you so much for talking to us. Thank you, Dave. It's been a pleasure. And of course, we couldn't do it without you. Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Dave Barber. We call this Capital Spotlight.